So today guys we take a look at a new Jacobs pistol. I believe the only new legendary Jacobs within this new DLC. And well guys, it is amazing. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and today I bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like it really helps me out. And subscribe if you do want to see more. So this new pistol, the Bloom. It's a Jacobs variant and well straight to the point people, I love it. It doesn't let you down at all and while it's seemingly one source to drop it needed to be a weapon as decent as it is. So this bloom for me within the countless hours of play this DLC thanks to Gearbox giving it me early. The one source that dropped this was the last boss of the Ruiner. If you guys haven't got that far yet I won't show his location until the end of the video. So this bloom on a mayhem 10 for me had set stat rolls in terms of damage and so forth through the multiple different versions I had of it. A thorn by any other source would probably still hurt, a true statement. So we can see, hold down the trigger to charge burst fire shots. And how this works is, you can shoot individual shots like a standard Jacob's pistol. But holding down that trigger for about a second or so and releasing you will fire all the shots at the same time with a deadly burst. Now testing this further you only seem to get a damage increase on that last shot which we see is close to around 100 to 150 percent or thereabouts. Now holding down that trigger for a split second you won't fire all shots but get the timing right and you'll release all seven. And yeah, you can hold down that trigger and release in about the same time you can fire off all seven individual shots. Except holding it down and using the weapon special perk is definitely beneficial because of that extra damage with that last shot. So in terms of DPS, it makes sense to hold it down. Now you have to take into consideration when you do hold it down though that it's harder to hit all seven shots. Because the recoil is kind of crazy. So it's probably better to only use that hold down feature when you're close enough to enemies so that all bullets will hit them because you don't want to miss that last shot because that's the more powerful shot. So playing around with this for like a minimum of 6 or 7 hours, I can actually say I think it will be a future fan favourite weapon. It is a beast and that charge sound and release and impact sound are so satisfying. Now it isn't the most powerful but it's more than just about that, it's a weapon that feels good to use. And like this that for me, for a big part takes priority for those everyday job weapons. So yeah the bloom is definitely a weapon I suggest you try to farm and it's an exclusive drop from the runa who is the last boss. Root to this dude you will see on screen now as he's located at the end of Crater's Edge. So enjoy it people and let me know what you think about this thing when you do get it. So the Bloom, the one new Jacobs is legendary to this DLC and I'll definitely put it in my top 5 DLC weapons, that's for sure. But that's another video for another day. But on that note we have come to the end guys, if you enjoyed the video leaving a like it really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video I upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys thanks as always for stopping by, hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Come <laughs> on.